In this video, I'd like to talk about named ranges inside of Microsoft Excel. Now, a named range is exactly what the name sounds like. It's a name you give to a range of cells. And you can give a name to any range of cells at all. For example, I could highlight these blank cells right here, and I could give those a name. The quickest way to name any set of cells is simply to highlight it, and then to click here in the name box. The name box is just to the left of your formula line right here. Once you click there, you're going to see that the contents are, are highlighted, and I can type whatever name I want to give this range. I'm going to go ahead and name this one um, blank, and then hit enter, and now blank is the name of that range of cells. Now anytime you want to refer to that block of cells, all you have to do is come here and click this drop down, and any ranges you've named will be listed there. I'll go ahead and click on that, and you'll see it highlights that group of cells. Now, this by itself isn't very useful, but what makes it more useful is you can use this named range in a formula. For example, I'm going to go ahead and type in some values here. I won't type in values to all of them, but um, just a few. And then I'm going to come here, and I'm going to go ahead and type equals sum, parentheses, and then the name of the range, which in this case is blank. And I'll close my parentheses and hit enter, and you'll see the total that that formula gave me. So instead of having to remember the exact range of cells, I can go ahead and give that range of cells a name that is easy for me to remember, and then use that name in my formulas and functions. If you want to delete a particular uh, range of, or named range, you can do that by coming up here to the formula bar right up here at the top. And you're going to see you have Name Manager. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Name Manager, and you're going to see there's my named range. And I can go ahead and edit it if I want. I could enter in a new range of cells for that, or I can delete it altogether. I'm going to go ahead and delete it, and then OK, and then close. And you're going to see the formula that used that named range now gives me an error because it doesn't know what it is. Now, another quick tip for using named ranges inside of Excel are letting Excel name the ranges for you. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my table here. And you can see each one of these columns actually has a heading, January, February, and March. And each one of my rows also has a heading, in this case the name of the salespeople, plus the word total there. So I'm going to come to my formulas bar, and then I'm going to click on define names. Now you've got an option here when you click on define names that will allow you to go in and name this entire range. So I'm going to go ahead and just name this one table. But what I want to do is I want to name the individual columns and the individual rows now as individual ranges. For that, again, I'm going to go to Formulas, and I'm going to select Create from Selection. When I click that, it's going to bring up a dialog box that's asking me, where are the names? In this case, they're in the top row and the left column. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK there. And Excel has now created named ranges for each one of my columns and each one of my rows. So if I click my drop down from my name box, you'll see all of those listed there. So if I click on Joe, it'll highlight his cells. Notice it didn't grab Joe itself because we identified that as a label. Or if I click this drop down and select March, it'll grab those elements there. And in this case, since I already have the total in, you're going to see that the named range in this case includes the total. So I might have a little bit of difficulty using that the way it is. But all I have to do to edit that is go back to Formulas and go into Name Manager, and you'll see there are all of my ranges. So I'm going to go ahead and click the first month here, January. In January, I want to go from B2 to B6, not B7. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that. And I'm going to change the 7 there to 6. 
and click OK. And now that one has been edited. I'll do the same thing for February. I'll click on February and edit and change the 7 to a 6. You can also, when you're editing, use the selection box right here if you prefer to highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and then just go highlight the cells that I want to be included in the range. Click and then OK and now those have been changed. So anywhere in this workbook at all now that I want to refer to a group of cells, I know that those now have a name. So I can come here and type equals sum parentheses mo, close my parentheses and hit enter, and I get mo's total. If I go to another sheet, like I'm going to come here to my sum sheet, Actually, let's go to back here to operators. I could come here and type in equals sum parentheses mo, and it comes up there as well. And if you look back here at the name manager, you're going to see it actually includes the sheet name by default. So you can use these names three dimensionally. So that's a tour of using named ranges inside of Microsoft Excel. If you'd like to download this workbook for practice, or if you'd like to see more Excel tutorials and videos, go to learnexcelfunctions.com, www.learnexcelfunctions.com.